Two men are under arrest tonight for murder in two local murder cases, one in Austin, one in Rochester, with ties to New Orleans. The suspects, well, they were on the run for a long time, but finally captured in the last 48 hours. ABC 6 News reporter Devin Martin is taking us back, looking at both cases, people who died and those left behind. Devin? Ross, in both cases, the families of the victims talked with ABC 6 News just after it happened, and again tonight. They allowed us to get to know their loved one and showed us how much pain these crimes caused. Tonight, at least, they are on their way to finding justice. And who you'll hear from first is Ronica Harris, the wife of David Harris. He was killed early June in Austin. There's a lot of relief. Uh, I was really concerned about him hurting um, someone else. Ronica Harris tonight is staying strong. The man that killed her husband, Miguel Nunez Jr., is locked up. He was captured in South Dakota. Minnehaha County deputies located the 18-year-old hiding in a home's attic in Sioux Falls. There's no winners in it. I have children that are a little bit older than him, and I can't even imagine being his mom. I'm happy he's, he's not a danger to anyone else, but um, as a mom, my heart hurts for him. But she's hurting for her husband more. David Harris was the leader of their family. And now that he's gone, she's trying to move forward the best way she can. She told me she's in Denver trying to escape all of this. It's been tough. After her husband's funeral, she got an eviction notice and is now homeless. But even though she's facing these challenges, she's thinking of a silver lining. Minutes before he died, he gave me a kiss goodnight and told me he loved me. Even though it was hard, um, I have, you know, that moment. And now the other arrest in a local tragedy affecting those left behind. I spoke to Katie Sloan. She was Liz Quackenbush's best friend from Rochester Public Schools. Preston Higgs is under arrest for the death of his own girlfriend, Rochester teacher Liz Quackenbush. Quackenbush died on March 3rd. Police say Preston Higgs fatally stabbed her. Katie texted me saying she has been very emotional. She says, quote, Liz brought out the best in everyone around her. I'm a more creative teacher, a stronger woman, and a better friend for knowing her. Preston is behind bars where he belongs and cannot hurt anyone else. Those are strong words from a woman who knew Liz best. We also spoke to Liz Quackenbush's brother, Mike, shortly after she died. I love Preston like a brother. We, we welcomed him in with full knowledge of his past. So, Ross, two murders and two suspects on the run, and tonight, two suspects behind bars. And as the family members grieve, we hope that this can give them some peace of mind. Back to you.